TGTV and more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very exciting video. Not only has John Mobile got a new car, but we've got an exciting announcement. Some of you have already guessed what we're about to announce. But without further ado, this is your cue to get out, John. Stop filming on your phone, please. It's a professional channel. Out you get. Hello. What do you think? I love it. We're going to go for a drive in a second. I've got numerous GoPros in it, and you're all going to experience exactly what this thing's like. So, 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 you have a classic car. More importantly than that, a classic Porsche. We're going to get into frame there. Lovely stuff. Are you happy? I'm happy. I didn't think I would be because you forced me to buy a car, but now I am. I do that to people, John. I force them to buy cars. But you've gone for a classic Porsche, which is all very exciting. So, are you going to talk me through what, what, what has happened here? I, dude, I don't know that much about Porsche, but um, this is a 1988 3.2 Carrera. Um, and it's immaculate. Apart from the fan belt snapped this morning and we had it fixed before today. <laughs> <laughs> but how much did it cost you to fix it? Uh, five quid. Five quid. And that is the joy of classic cars, which we will get into. And there's a very specific reason you bought this one, again, which we'll get into. Do you want to fire up? And we'll go for a little spin. Do that. Let's do it. You might have to cut because the immobilizer plays up sometimes. The joys of classics. Fire up, lad. Go on. Yeah. Immobilizer. Ah, uh, no, it's going to work because it beat twice. That's a good start. New steering wheel. Yes. best thing in the world. They're what? cool, aren't they? Why didn't I buy one before? Why didn't, why didn't we do this before? The moral of the story is listen to TGE. Always listen to TGE. He always knows what's best. One out of ten. Yeah, I, my, my hit rate is quite low. It's sick. Obviously, impact bumpers, 1988. Yeah. It's obviously, uh, it's older than both of us, obviously. Silver. It's a silver one. Silver. Good. Should we get in, then? Should we go for a spin? New badge. Has he got a new badge? My uh, 996 needs a new badge, actually. Yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Have you seen the spoiler? I've seen the spoiler, yes. Yeah. We're going to explain to the audience at home exactly what it is, how much you paid, and what we think these are going to do, and why everyone should have a classic car. Yeah. There's a very specific reason this year everyone should have a classic car, yeah. which we'll go into. Come on, I've been threatening to jump in for a while. Let's go in. Mind the old tootsies. Yeezys in the old mud, lovely stuff. Sorry, mate, I'm bringing mud into your car oh, here. I'm not, are you? No, only a little bit. Oh, so it's actually silver on dark blue. I don't know if that's picked up in the camera, but silver on dark blue, a very rare and cool combo that people don't do in modern cars. All right, we'll chuck these GoPros on and we'll go for a little spinneroo. Yeah, come on then. Are you ready? Let's go, my seatbelt's twisted. Okay, fine, sure. good, yes, I'm ready. of getting my 912 along for this video but in the end we couldn't wait any longer for that thing to sort itself out um, it's currently at, just had its engine rebuilt uh, many of you would have seen the video on that but it's still uh, a little bit kind of in pieces so we're going to what are you doing i'm going out that way all right okay ready yes i'm ready let's go chaos <laughs> This isn't gonna last this car, is it? No, so this is the 1988 variant, which I believe is, um, it's kind of the 930 shape, but it's not called the... <laughs> Clutch. You idiot. That's no, fine. Look. Open the windows. That stinks. <laughs> Crap. The new clutch is probably about a tenner, so I won't worry. I hope we get through this video. <laughs> I don't know we stranded out here. Honestly, this is, a, this is a long way from home. This is the 1988, as we said. It is the base Carrera. Yes, not the Carrera S, not the Carrera 4S, not the Turbo, just the Bogo one. It's the Carrera 3.2, yeah, uh, standard one. 215, 217 brakes, something like that. Maybe not anymore. Well, yeah, especially, maybe. especially after that. <laughs> With a working clutch. Oh my God, you nearly shunted that Astra. I didn't. Mm. So, have you got power steering? No. You've got electric windows, you've got electric seats, and it's all still working. And actually, for a car of this age, it's not creaking, it's not really rattling or anything. I think that's unique to Porsche. They don't 
they just don't break. Like that's better than a brand new McLaren. Like it's not moving at all. Like nothing's nothing's crap. Get that off my head. Yeah, that isn't crap either. That's immaculate. This isn't sagging. Like it's cash. It's serious cash in here. So modifications so far. Then you've done the Momo prototype steering wheel. Working horn as well. Again, yeah, I don't have that in mind. Um, we don't have airbags. No. But you know. New stereo. Who really cares about that? New stereo as well, and that's kind of in keeping actually. It's, it's kind of period correct, so that's yeah. quite cool. Um, anything else? Immobilizer? That key already on it. key can, for these things. I can have it without it, unfortunately. It's annoying. No, they do, they do butt in a lot. Uh, any modifications planned? No, that's it. That's it. For now. I think just leave it alone, to be honest. Yeah. It's rich. Right, we'll get on to some more driving impressions in a second, and we can get hoofing it around the corner. However, we've got an exciting announcement to make, and no, we're not getting married. That sounds like <laughs> every time we say we've got a joint announcement, everyone thinks we're, we're having a baby or something. It's possible these days. We are launching Modball Classic. So, think Modball, and think a hell of a lot of classic cars batting the length of the country. And hopefully you're getting there. <laughs> I'm excited because I can't wait for this to break down. So basically, Two years ago, just over, we launched Mobile UK. Yep. We went down a store. Yep. Literally, it was one of the coolest things ever. You've been harping on about doing a classic version for about a year. Yep. And I've kept saying no, because I was like, classic cars, break down, blah, blah, blah. And now I've bought one, thanks to you. You finally see what all the fuss is about. The most fun thing was, is going on Auto Trader, and yeah. researching and finding a car. That was the best fun for me. So yeah, you looked into it way more than I did. I bought mine pretty much blind. I just bought the first one I saw. Yeah. Don't do that. No, don't do that. Um, yeah, I even told you not to buy that thing. But um, you still did. No, uh, I don't listen to anyone. So, so should we talk about the rules? The Marble Classic rules? Yeah, so I fought long and hard. I want 996s involved. What year were they? It's 2004. They're part of the Porsche Classic scene now. No, no, no. They're Porsche have called them a classic. Yeah, but that's fine. So basically the rules are, depending on the decade of your car, Right. so mine's 80s, what's yours, 30s? 30s, uh, 60s. 60s, so if you enter a car, a car made in the 60s, you have to dress 60s the whole weekend, no excuses. If you have a car in the 80s, like me, I have to dress like 80s the whole weekend, so Tom Selleck, moustache. What work. do people wear in the 60s? Do they wear clothes? Yeah. When they were like nudists and taking drugs. Wait, were they hippies? Oh, that's 70s. What were they doing in the 60s? I think they dressed quite well, to be fair. So like I did. So your struggle. <laughs> I didn't know about that one. Okay, carry on. You didn't know about that one? No? Well, now I do. It's oh. fine. Rules are rules. Yeah, these are the rules. These are the hard rules. Yeah? Yes. Um, it's an application as before. Yeah, application only. Yeah, that's you're not a, you're not guaranteed entry. There's limited slots. We're going to keep it relatively limited because yeah. we don't want too many classes. We've got hard right here, John. Down to third. Lovely stuff. Breaking a straight line. Um, we don't want hundreds of people in classic cars because that is going to be pandemonium. There's going to be gearboxes and pieces of like gasket and everything all over the road the entire length of the country if we do that. So we're going to keep the numbers relatively limited. It's going to be application only, and then we're going to sift through and we're going to allow. Um, as many people as we can on, but so do apply. But if you don't get on, don't take it personally. Yeah. Um, but yeah, most people will get on. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The reason we don't want like a hundred cars breaking down is because we have one. We got one tow truck. So we will have in one guise or another some support coming along with us. So basic mechanical issues, um, we will have someone with us who's going to be tailing the whole pack. So if your fan belt breaks or something like that, or they've got you know spares on uh, like a seal or a bolt, I know nothing about cars, then they can do basic stuff on the side of the road effectively. But do have breakdown cover as well, yeah. on the off chance that they're already dealing with another uh, casualty, <laughs> i.e. my 912, which is gonna blow up within seconds. Um, so yeah, that is that, I'm really excited. I don't know how this is gonna go. Well, also, if you're, go if you're going to break down, be the first. Yes. Be the first one to break down. Don't be third, because you might not get to the next lesson. You'll be placed in a queue, yeah. or get your own AA. <laughs> Just get an AA cover. Or green flag. Yeah, anything. They're available as well. Yeah.
But what would be funny is loads of people broken down wearing like 70s, 80s and 90s and 60s outfits. Me stood on the side of the road with a car on fire dressed like a nonce. I you would wait. love that. I would actually, to be fair. I don't, I've just had the engine rebuilt. I should be okay. I should be fine. You should be. The floor like doesn't have holes in it now. It's good. So, so those are the rules. Those um, are the rules. There's going to be a black tie dinner and final party as always with awards. Yeah. Um, and the route is London, Manchester, Edinburgh, which okay. is our proven route. It's an yeah. incredible hotels. Um, it's an incredible route for for these types of cars. And we're going to drive in the it, what is it? The Lake District or the Peak District? I always get confused. Which one is it? We go through Peak District. Peak District. Yeah, the the road through the Peak District is sick. And the Lake District. Oh, we did both. Yeah. Chaos. Yeah. So that's the route and timings then and date is going to be in August 2021. We've been kind of waiting back to see whether or not old Bojo uh, relaxes things and things are going to go back to normal. And we believe by August things will be absolutely fine. So the date will be confirmed in the pinned comment below in the comments. We'll finalise the date in there. But at the moment it's looking like August 2021. By the time this video goes out we will finalise the date. So do hit below, see if you are available or just book that weekend off. If you've got a friend's wedding, cancel it. You don't need to go to that. Drive around in a classic and um, put it on his roof in the Peak District. That's what you want to be doing. <laughs> Much better. Don't put it on his roof. I'm not advising anyone has an accident. If someone does though, they'll get an award. There will be awards as well. If you make it to the other end, there will be awards. And if you don't make it to the other end, uh, you can get a posthumous award as well. You know what people get uh, awarded after after death or whatever. Don't yeah. die again. No, sh stop. Sh is this Stonehenge? This is a What's that? It's like a mini Stonehenge. It's like a... Um, but they don't charge you here. The Sainsbury's it. Basics version of, of Stonehenge. It's like a free... It's like a Stonehenge light. But it's free. rubbish. No, no, I mean Stonehenge Who would pay for that? Rubbish. Stonehenge is rubbish. Though. Stonehenge is actually incredible, John. The way they got those stones up, no one knows. That was crap. You didn't look at it. You no, saw. I didn't need to. I saw enough. I had a quick glance. It was rubbish. Just the stones in the field. Rubbish. I could do that. Um, so, the thing to do right now, if you're watching this, is yep. um, go on Auto Trader, put in the year before 2000, yep. and then put in either like coupe or convertible. If you put in convertible, I think it's like 650 cars. So you'll start to narrow down really quickly what you can get. Or and pick then a manufacturer you like. Yeah. Porsche is obviously a good one. Yeah, that's cool. But your BMWs, your Mercs. Anything, MGs, Audis, everything's cool. Do you know what? That's the thing as well. Everything pre two thousand was pretty cool. Yeah. It's coming back round again now. It is. This is the best thing. I, I, I genuinely love this car. How much did you pay? They want to know. I paid fifty grand. Is that good? Well, I got. A is, is this is yeah. this a ropey one or a good one? Where are we on the scale? This has done eighty eight thousand miles. Right. It had four suitcases worth of history. Wow. Yeah, I've already added to that. Um, Perfect. And you found that? Yeah. Um, it's just, yeah, and it's immaculate everywhere. Literally, you see the interior. It is fresh, to be fair. The, outs the outside of the car is amazing. It drives perfectly. Like, it, it's amazing. It's and you bought good. it from? I can't remember. Perfect. An, an ideal opportunity for a bit of a plug there. Yeah. Well done. Only right now. I'll remember later. So. Right, we'll try that again. Where did you get it from? Um, I bought it from a guy called Martin Daly. Um, fine. Um, who's got an incredible amount of classic cars. Okay, really fine. Nice car. A reputable guy then. Yeah. Brilliant. And you bought the history like you should with these cars. Yeah. Great. Good. Uh, and it should go up in value. You know, it's a right-hand drive. It's sensible spec. It's obviously a manual. Could you get these in auto? No, I don't think so. Good, because it would have been rubbish. Yeah sensible buy and servicing on these is obviously diddly squat yeah. parts are diddly squat yeah. Uh, and yeah they're, they're good news 50 grand is a sensible amount of money i paid 32 for my 912 and i've spent another that's like a deposit though, 80 right? on, on sorting it out <laughs> and it still doesn't work <laughs> that was the deposit wasn't it yeah, yeah it was do you know what i actually i bought it outright which is rare for me i was feeling rich that day yeah. and then i realized it was going to cost me so much to fix it i then funded it retrospectively Perfect. But I think it's gone up. I think sorted, it'll be worth like 60 odd grand. Yeah. And I won't have spent 30 on it. You're not going to sell it though, are you? Probably not. I'm going to keep that in the Corregi T and maybe the SLS. Yeah. Long, long, long term. And maybe the F12. 
yeah. and the M3. Yeah, when you buy these types of cars, you just sort of like, I don't know, you feel inside it, part of it, it's weird. Yeah, you're part of its history, it's very cool. Yeah. So yeah, it's, it's like good. On, on Top Gear, when they used to buy, they used to have those cars that they travel across the country with. Yeah. And then they wouldn't let them go, they shipped them back because yeah. they had such a great history of them. I feel like we're going to do that with Mobile. I'm either going to love my 912 by the end of Mobile Classic, or I'm going to hate it and want to just roll it over into a, into a pond. It'll be, it'll be one of the two. <laughs> Very nice. Or maybe I would have already rolled it over into a pond with me in it. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. I don't think it goes fast enough to do that. It doesn't. It's about 70, 80 brake horsepower. That's quite a lot for you to be fair. It is crap. It's a 1.6. Four cylinder. It's a Beetle engine. It is actually a Beetle. Actually. Yeah, it's a 356 and a 911 shell, basically. Yeah, okay. It's cool. They're cash. They're the unsung hero. They're the ones to have. I promise. Oh, this piece of junk. Dude, I, I actually want to thank you. Yeah. For making me buy a classic car. It's the coolest thing ever. I get that a lot of people thanking me. They go, oh look, there goes TGE. I must remember to thank him. You reckon? <laughs> If I had to take your advice 90% of the time though, you'd be sunk. I'd probably you'd be bankrupt. I'd probably be in jail for killing you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't listen to most of what I say. <laughs> One in ten things, listen. But yeah, great. Welcome to Classic Porsche Ownership. Uh, the next video we'll do will be me and my 912 and you in this. And maybe we'll have a drag race or something. I'm in. Yeah? Perfect. All right, on that note, I think it's time to end the video. Thank you very much for watching. And as of the point this video is live, Mobile Classic applications are now open. So make sure you go and get in the pot. Click the link, apply. That's that then. Time to end the video. Thank you very much for the drive. First drive. Welcome. It's actually the first time I've actually been in this. I've been laughing at it for about two months. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, we didn't tell them about the blue smoke that came out of there. That was last week. Yeah, it's a weekly I issue. Fixed that. So I've been laughing at the trials and tribulations of classic car ownership. You've got into it now. You start to learn that nothing's really that much to worry about. If it breaks, you just fix it and you go again. It's good. Yeah. Um, so yeah, welcome to Classic Porsche Ownership. Thank you very much for watching and we look forward to welcoming you at Mobile Classic. There'll be a start line again in London. It's probably going to be slightly noisier and more rickety than the last one. And there's going to be probably a load of oil spots all over the floor. Uh, sorry in advance to the hotel. Hopefully you're not watching this. Um, but I look forward to welcoming you there. Obviously John looks forward to welcoming you there. And do, when you apply, just put in. If you haven't got your car yet, let us know what you're thinking of getting. Go and get yourself an Auto Trader or Yes Auto, depending on who's paying me this week, and go and find a classic car. That's the fun of it, finding a car. Hilarious. Send me DMs with what you're looking at, yes. what you've bought. I want to know what you're all buying. And me, and me. Yes. Yeah. This is good. Apply now. Apply now, now and now. also get AA or RAC or Green Flag. All of them. Get all them of them. All. Yeah. <laughs> They're going to be busy that weekend. So just get all of them. Like, <laughs> get, yeah, get, get the mix all of it. Right. Go to apply now. Thank you very much for watching. Stay safe. Blah, blah, blah. I'll see you all. Ah, crisps. And I'll see you all very soon. Any final words? Bye. Bye.